Hey all, welcome to this week's favorite collection here at the CIO PCC. That's the Crawford Institute of Pop Culture Collectibles. And today I'm going to be looking at a collection that's huge. I have hundreds of these guys. Uh, I have a huge box of them put away that I don't even have on display. And yet I have two full three by four shelves that are sometimes I'm thinking maybe I need to get rid of these. And then other times I'm buying more. Those would be Mattel cars yes based on the first three movies from pixar as well as the cartoon these guys there's about a billion of them i quit trying to be a completist with these years ago here you can see a bunch of me on tias i try to keep stuff together on the shelf but uh yeah i quit trying to be a completist on these long ago and yet i have hundreds of them all different sometimes some of the stuff i have boxed up is boxed up because it's in uh uh, you'll have a pack, and there'll be one I wanted to have, and it's the only way it came, and so I got stuck with a bunch of other ones. You'll notice that there was several Toy Story ones there. Those are always great, as well as some of the other Pixar movies. Of course, they made some of those characters. Here's Mater, one of my favorite Maters from Comic-Con. Well, as the wedding set... And that playset down below, that was uh, one of the Precision series. It has lights and sounds. It's a really nice set. I only bought Sarge's Surplus Hut. I didn't pick up the other two or three that they produced, and I am really sorry about that now. This is just a heads up. If you have one of those, you have some very uh, valuable items. They go for big money now. There's the Roland Bowen set with another really cool mater. You'll see a bunch of maters here in a minute. You know, they've made some really odd, bizarre... Uh, choices in this world. Here's all my Lightning McQueens. Well, not all of my Lightning McQueens. These are all Lightning McQueens, but I have a bunch more in other areas of different shelves. But I tried to pack the most I could down here. Speaking of picking up new ones, I just picked up that Deputy McQueen because I thought the paint job was so cool. Now, while some of these might look alike, they're, none of these are alike. All of them have something different about them. Perhaps it's something simple, like a different uh, uh, face, a different expression. Sometimes it's something a little more obvious. Here's Autonaut. Tokyo Mater, another great Tokyo Mater. These Storyteller sets came out at Target. These things are great. They have some really cool cars in them. Some that you couldn't get any other way. But they do some really unusual choices that I love. Here's a couple of my very favorite ones up on this shelf. Here we have the Pope Mobile with the Pope in it. I think this is my only other, only other Pope I have is the Family Guy Pope. So I think that's really cool. And over here is the hearse. Now, why would they need a hearse? There are no human beings in the world of the cars. And really, Mater is, you know, a tow truck is a car's hearse. So yeah, there's a hearse. I have no idea why, but I thought it was really cool that they did one. Over on this side, we have some more odds and ends. These didn't really get uh, put together for any particular reason. These kind of got stuck over here for the most part because I ran out of room on the other shelves and decided to throw these guys over here. There are a few that go together. There's another one of those Christmas ones that's very hard to get. Stuff they did for holidays was already great. Always great. You do see, I see through some mini and vans there together. They did a number of different ones of those. And I do have some of the haulers that I've kept boxed. Uh, I have a ton of the haulers and really don't have any room to put the haulers out where you can see them. So they're for the most part in, uh, in my big box set. Oh, and there's a whole bunch more McQueens, just in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. I sold you. There's lots of McQueens. There's also lots of Maters. And I have a whole bunch of them down over here. Some of the coolest ones in the series are Maters. They just, they did some great variants of him. They were all pretty much uh, accurate to the show. It's not like they did a bunch of stuff that was way out there, either on one of the movies or in one of the cartoon episodes. But Mater dressed up a lot of different ways over the years and he got used in a lot of these play sets you'll see him here in this one 
There's a Dragon McQueen in that one, and here's another Mater, Matador Mater. They would, uh, Mattel always liked to do some of this stuff for Comic-Cons. As you can see here, we have some special releases and some more pitties. I try to keep all the pitties together. Down here, we have a couple of those play sets. Now, they did those Precision Series, but they also did these simpler, cheaper play sets. As you can see over here, I did pick up all of those. They're not quite as exciting as the Precision Series, but you know. And there's another one of those harder to get uh, haulers. So, that's one shelf. Yes, there's another shelf. It's nothing but cars. And that shelf is all loose over here. Oh, up on the top we have big stuff, including on this side, one of my very favorites, the Elvis RV. Down below we have some of the uh, uh, media, some of the reporters and the news guys, as well as some of the, uh, a lot of the fans. So you can see I kind of kept the fans together as well as the news guys. There are a few scattered around, but try to keep them kind of together. Down here we have some odds and ends along with uh, a lot of the police vehicles of different kinds. As we get down with the police vehicles there and back, we run into some more of the uh, fans across here. And then we get into some of my favorites, the old timers. Both in their racing outfits and in their slightly less, slightly more worn looks. Hanging from above on all the sides, you'll see we have planes and helicopters. As we come around this side, we get into some of the cars that were racers. And they've done a ton of racers, as you might imagine. Now, some of these you'll see more than one. And that is because they are different. I also have some of these more than one because I have both plastic tires and rubber tires on a bunch of them. And I wanted to keep both for now. But there wasn't any reason to have both open, since uh, tires, not exactly a big difference. Up in here on top, I have some more of the odds and ends, but then we get back into uh, some more of the media, all the guys wearing headphones, as well as guys that uh, were working uh, in the pit crews. And as we get down here towards the end of the pit crews, we get a few more racers. As well as some more big guys up on top. These deluxe ones were great. And sometimes they did ones like you see the uh, Goodyear blimp. They actually did that in a smaller size and a larger size. They did that with TJ Hummer. They did that with a few of the figures where they ended up doing a larger version as a deluxe later after they had already done a small version. On this end, once we get past a few more of the big guys again... Uh, we have some more flying vehicles. That's actually not a flying vehicle. That's a submersible, but he's got kind of wings. That was a Finn McMissile. We have uh, some more jets. And on this side, we have a lot of the B characters. Sarge, Sally, uh, Finn McMissile, Doc Hudson. Other uh, racers in town like DJ and Snotrod. Lots of Ramones. One of the things that uh, they did a lot with Ramon is give him a bunch of different paint jobs. So there's a billion different Ramones out there. And I did pick up quite a few because they, they do some really cool paint jobs. Fillmore they did quite a bit as well. Different eyes, different attachments. He's a cool dude. On the last side over here, we have more odds and ends. More stuff that uh, tried to keep stuff together where it made sense. Up on top is the front of those haulers. They're loose. A few more of the bigger vehicles in front. Down here we have a lot of the beaters. Either that were part of the Demolition Derby or were part of the uh, Junkers. What do they call that land? The Lemons. There's actually two different Father Burks, and I haven't been able to figure out why. I mean, I know they're different. You can see how different the, the uh, hats are. One is much bigger than the other one. The front end's different. But I haven't really been able to find a listing for two different Father Burks. I 
And down here, it's really just odds and ends. Like I said, every car in the collection is different. And I am nowhere near complete with the number of different cars they've produced. So, as you can see, if I got rid of them all, I would free up a couple of shelves. Now, I also have the 118 scale that Jada Toys did. Here's one of the harder to get ones. Uh, this is Cruz Dinico, or Cruz Ramirez in the Dinico version. And you'll notice it's got the tire rack. When they did these and gave you a tire rack, here is the well, Lightning McQueen with the tire rack. They were very hard to find. Here's the Mack truck. Unlike on this side down here, you'll see open the uh, same uh, Cruz, but without the tire rack. Fillmore. Down there at the bottom is uh, one that Disney Store had, a Frank. It's a much larger Frank. More actually in scale with the smaller cars. A few more that I kept boxed of these uh, 118 scale. But then we also have a uh, Mater, McQueen, Doc Hudson, who I think was like a, an exclusive, maybe a Comic-Con or somewhere that came out. And uh, Jackson Storm. So... There we have, oh, almost the last of my cars collection. We have a couple others that I'll show you because things do get spread out sometimes because I like to keep themes sort of uh, to going together and over here in the cartoon section, you really do have to have some cars as part of the cartoon section. So down here, I happen to have this really cool shelf, wall shelf for the Piston Cup that I bought at Disney Store. So I put five of the cars that made sense uh, on that shelf. And then uh, on this side, we have the Pizza Planet. So, of course, they did a Pizza Planet version along with the, uh, the two other ones that I know of that Mattel has produced. If there's any other unique Pizza Planet trucks, let me know. I would like to pick all of those up at some point, if there's any others. Those are the only three I've seen. So there you have it. My complete cars collection, except for the whole huge box that's away in storage. Uh, and uh, I'll... Either keep buying them or I'll sell them all. Who knows? Depends on the day. So hopefully you're having a great week and I will talk to you later.